So what is metabolism? Well, metabolism is all chemical reactions within a living organism. First up is catabolism, aka degradative reaction. Here we have a complex molecule. Now this complex molecule in catabolism is broken down into simpler molecules. So within catabolism, there are hydrolytic reactions. Hydro meaning water, lytic meaning break apart or break down. So it's the breakdown of water. So we have our water. which is split into oxygen and hydrogen. Also in catabolism, there is a release of energy. And this release of energy is called exergonic. Exer, X, I think of exit. Le like the energy is leaving. The energy is released. So I'll give you an example. We have sucrose. And the enzyme sucrase so we have our substrate our enzyme and we know that this is an enzyme because of the ending ace And it's broken into glucose and fructose. Here, water is added in. And it comes out on the other end. Here, sucrose, our substrate, water comes in, we have our enzyme sucrase that breaks sucrose up into glucose and fructose and also yielding a hydrogen and a hydroxide. So the second part to metabolism is anabolism aka biosynthesis reaction. So anabolism is completely opposite to catabolism. Here we have simple molecules. Now these simple molecules through anabolism become one large complex molecule. So it goes from here, from simple molecule, molecules to complex.
complex so molecules. So in anabolism, there is dehydration synthesis. D meaning release, hydration, water. So it's the release of water. And out of the reaction, water is released. So the second part to metabolism is anabolism, AKA biosynthesis reaction. So anabolism is completely opposite to catabolism. Here we have simple molecules. Now these simple molecules through anabolism become one large complex molecule. So it goes from here, from simple molecule, molecules to complex complex molecules. So in anabolism, there is dehydration synthesis D meaning release hydration water so it's the release of water And out of the reaction, water is released. Also in anabolism, there is endergonic reactions and ender, I think of in. Energy is needed. So energy is going in, into the reaction. Here's some examples. Proteins broken down into amino acids, nucleic acid, broken down into nucleotides, and poly, polysaccharides broken down into simpler sugars, simple sugars. So what's an easy way to remember catabolism and anabolism? You have catabolism. Here. Yeah. So with the first A, we have release. And with the B, breakdown.
because in catabolism there is a release of energy and in catabolism there is a breakdown of the complex molecule into simpler molecules. So with anabolism, We're going to do the same thing. So with the N, we're going to do N dergonic. And with the B, build. So with anabolism, you have endergonic, endergonic. Remember N. Energy is going in into the reaction. Then we have build. In anabolism, remember that we have many simple molecules that are being built into more complex, larger molecules. So this is how I would remember catabolism and anabolism and what it entails.